what's up guys this is chris keys um this is going to be my first ever um youtube video um i just i guess you could say i'm not testing this out but um i'm officially on youtube now so um you know i'm i guess you could applaud for that <laughs> um okay just for a little bit about myself my name is christopher um but I let everybody call me chris keys and Keys came from the piano, of course, but one thing about me is that um, I'm going to be trying to push a lot of videos on YouTube, um, mainly, mainly is going to focus on, you know, online marketing and, you know, different ways of, um, or different streams of making money online, but, you know, one of my main focuses is going to be on Shopify. One of my main focuses is going to be on Shopify. And one thing that I can say is that, I mean, I'm not super great at, you know, where I'm at right now, but I'm definitely good than where I used to be at. I mean, I was interested, I was introduced to Shopify in 2015 by my boy Cater. Um, some of you guys might know Cater, but, um, Cater is, you know, like, not only like a close friend, a big brother, and definitely I could say, you know, he's a mentor as well. And he in, he introduced me to the whole online, making money online and everything. But long story short, he introduced me um to Shopify. And I remember I started off in Shopify for a month. I remember he, he hit me up and he said, hey, Chris, hey, I, th there's this new thing called Shopify that's going on. Um, jump on Shopify, people are making money, I was out, and I was just like, what is it, he was like, yo, everybody's doing this thing called drop shipping, jump on drop shipping, do your research, da -da. you know, get to it, so I didn't waste no time, I, I went on Shopify, I didn't even, I didn't even realize that there was a free day, I'm um, 14 free day trial, whatever, I just picked a plan, I started to look for products, posted up some products in my store, then I told him, like, yo, yo, how do I push the store? He was like, yo, you got to do Facebook advertisement. Boom, I just jumped on Facebook, tried to do the advertisement. Long story short, a whole month went by. I didn't make no sell. And mind you, I was doing $5 um, on ads every day, testing out products. Like, after a while, especially if you're a person who's already tight on money, $5 adds up. So I was like, oh no, this is this is not for me. Like, I gotta pay my phone bill next month, you know? So but fast forward now, um, 2016, um, October, you know, I got engaged. And um, you know, me and my fiance, we were saying, like, you know, next year to, well, during that time, next year, 2017, you know, is when we're planning we wanna, you know, get married. We're gonna do it in October. October 2017 so it didn't hit me until November and mind you during this time too I was already going through stress because my bills wasn't getting paid on time and and there's so much stuff like and, and, and we're not even talking about the wedding stuff yet we're just talking about like a regular day living like my my, my little bills and 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 stuff that I, I already need like car note insurance I had so much stuff going on and I was already struggling with that, then November November came and now I'm like, yo, I'm 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 about to get married. Holy shoot! Like my back was against the wall. Like I started stressing. I I was losing my mind and 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 I'm like, if I'm if I'm going through all of this stress from regular, my regular daily stuff. Like imagine preparing for a wedding. So. That's when I would I just woke up one morning and I was like, you know what? Online stuff for another go. So what I did was I remember I jumped on eBay and I was like, you know what? Let me try my luck on on eBay. Maybe I could do some drop shipping from eBay. So I jumped on eBay and I remember everything was going so well on eBay. I'm like, oh shoot, like I didn't even let Kater know yet. I was just like, oh no, 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 I'm I'm gonna keep this to myself right now. I'm like, what? And during this time, too, I'm thinking, I'm like, why would these guys go on Shopify if it's so easy to make money on eBay? Literally seven, seven days 
After being on eBay, PayPal shut me down. PayPal shut me down. I was so sick. So, so sick. Like, and remind you, within seven days, I already revenued about like eight, nine thousand dollars. And here comes PayPal holding on tight to my money. Long story shut. I mean, long story short, they ended up blocking my, my PayPal. Um, they wanted proof that I had the products home. They held on to like about $10,000. It was so bad. Like, but I didn't let that hold me back. Like what I did now, I was like, you know what? Now that I, I, I kind of understand why everybody jumped on, on Shopify now, let me jump to Shopify. So I jumped on Shopify and but this time I really took my time. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my research. I'm going to go on Google. I'm going to go on, on YouTube before I run to the, the, you know, the gurus, I guess you could say that that's killing it. I rather, I, I want to do my own concrete research before I run to anybody for questions. So I started doing my research. Like I, I was staying up, waking up at like seven o'clock, going to sleep at like four in the morning, doing research, watching videos. Then I, I started to do product research and I started to post up some um, products in my store. I, I found out how to really properly set up my store. I started to do Facebook advertising the proper, you know, the proper way. But I mean, it took some testings. I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, I just, I just one day just did everything and boom, I just made money. Like it wasn't like that at all. Like it, it took, I want to say it took a, another two weeks. It took me about two weeks before I made my first sell. But from me going through all the failure within those two weeks, it made me become better. By November, by the the middle of or the close to the ending of December into January, my store already revenued about twenty seven thousand. And um, I'm pretty sure if you go through my Facebook, you'll see the screenshot somewhere. I could definitely say if it wasn't for my circumstances, maybe I wouldn't have you know push as hard as I I am going right now. But one thing, you know, one advice I could tell people is don't wait for, you know, a, your your situations to get worse for you to finally wake up. I mean, some people, you know, unfortunately, that's the way things have to be sometimes. But if I had the same mindset before, I could have definitely excelled even more than where I'm at right now. But like I said, I live with no regrets. Um, but I definitely give this guy, Cater the biggest shout out ever. Matter of fact, let's check out his page. Kata right now, um, he's the one who also YouTube as well because he's killing it. He's killing it ever since the day I met him. Um, well, ever since the day he introduced me to, um, you know, making money online. But not only that, you know, congrats to him. He also just made a um, training on how to make money on YouTube and he's killing it. I mean, I'm not going to go deep into it. I is making about 2K a month off of YouTube and 10k a week on the back end like people do too much also I think I got yeah I have a sales page up for the trainings you guys could go through it there'll be a link below but that's one thing you know too a lot of people don't um a lot of people don't a lot of people tend to like stay focused on one stream of income and Right now, you know, EA, you know, I'm jumping on to YouTube. I'm also doing affiliate marketing with, you know, a lot of other stuff as well. I try not to keep all my eggs in one basket because if Shopify shuts you down or if something goes wrong with a merchant account or something or with Shopify or whatever and it stops or it temporarily stops, what else do you have to fall back on? And, you know, even with that, you know, I'm, as time go on, I'm going to be uploading videos and I got... I got a lot of scenarios that happened with me and, you know, you know, I'm just, I just want to share and, and just shed some light and motivate people. Like, like this stuff is not as easy as you think, but you could get through it. You know, you could get through it. But yeah, this guy, Kata got me into, um, this online stuff. And, and like I said, ever since then, I've been averaging, you know, a good seven, eight K now, um, off of Shopify and, 
I'm here to help. I'm going to be posting up, you know, different um, videos pertaining to Shopify mainly as well. But um, one thing I could definitely say for the newbies, the newbies who just now starting out with Shopify and, you know, um, you know, the e-commerce store, the two main, the two main things that you, like, I suggest, I mean, I don't know what other people could say, but at least for me, the two main things that I suggest for you guys to focus on is product research. I can't stress it more on how important, like really important it is for you to do product research. Product research is one of the major keys to winning on Shopify and Facebook advertisement. Those are your two. If somebody could have at least stressed that like a lot to me in the beginning, I probably would have been very far right now. But the two main things, like I said, is product research and and Facebook advertisement. Really know how to go deep with your product research and your Facebook advertisement is the lifeline of your store. Know how to test your your products. Know how to um, scale your ads. Starting from making, maybe you start making, it, it goes on. If you can master that, then trust me, you will kill it on Shopify. Don't be afraid to do your research. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to make it seem like it was just only me doing my research too. Because I, you know, I invested in myself. I purchased a few, um, I purchased a few um, trainings as well. I'm not going to lie. I spent like $1,000 on one training and $2,000 on another one or, um, you know, and so on. But even if, even if I purchased something for 1000 or 2000 and maybe all of the materials is not good, but I always try to tell myself, like, listen. I want to at least grab one thing out of it that's going to help me change, you know, my my business online. Like, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you might bump into some trainings online that's not too great. But, but at the end of the day, you can at least get one thing out of it that could help you grow your money. And a lot of people are afraid, afraid to spend $20 on something that has a potential to, to make them hundreds of thousands. But one thing I could definitely, like, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. The best investment is definitely in yourself, especially if it's going to help you grow. But, I you know, I, I, I spent money on trainings, did my research, and I don't regret, like, a dime. I don't regret me staying up late at night. I don't regret anything because even as now, even though I'm making, you know, how much I'm making right now, I'm not trying to say I'm the best, but even though I'm making what I'm making right now, I'm still doing research. I'm still staying up four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning trying to better my craft, you know? Um, but I don't want to stay here talking too long. Um, this is, I guess you could say a brief introduction, but Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting up some training videos. I'm going to be, you know, you know walking people through, do you know, what you could do for your store to, to better it. And um, definitely, guys, you know, jump on my, my, um, my Facebook. Add me on Facebook. Um, shoot me questions. It doesn't matter. I'm here to answer. If you want to comment below. I'm going to put a couple of links below in case you want, to, you want to check out. Well, it's going to lead straight to my Facebook and other links as well. So, um, you know, just just I'm here to be your friend. Please be mine. And um, we'll keep rocking. Catch you later.